Hello friends, welcome to another video. I'm Jeanette with Aviva Vintage Designs. Today I am going to attempt to recreate a portion of the bow I just showed you that I painted in watercolor and I'm going to attempt this using alcohol ink markers. At first I wanted to use my dry palette but I realized quickly that you need to have more control so the alcohol ink markers will give me that. And you can see that I only traced a portion of the bow. I didn't want to do the whole thing. It would take way too long. And um, I selected the colors of markers that I wanted to use. These markers are inexpensive markers that I purchased on Amazon. And I bought them a while ago. And I have to say that they've lasted a really good long time. They're by Touch New. And as always, all the products that you see me use in this video will be listed in the description box just below. So if you don't see the list below the video, click on show more and it will expand and you'll see the full list and links in case you would like more information on the products or perhaps you're interested in purchasing them for yourself. So I had to section off the area of the bow that I am painting because, um, I was getting a little confused, so I just took a piece of paper and cut out a frame the size of the painting that I am working on with the alcohol ink markers so that I could follow the colors. And basically what I did was the section that I wanted to trace, I used my new light box and it worked perfectly. And I traced it using a watercolor pencil. Now, if you're tracing onto photo paper, you'll know that um, a pencil doesn't work very well. So using a watercolor pencil, rather a regular pencil doesn't work very well. It doesn't show up, but using a watercolor pencil really shows up well. And I traced mine using a yellow orange color because it would not show once I went over it with the alcohol ink markers. And basically what I'm doing at this point is I am color blocking. I'm putting down the dark and the lights and the medium tones where I see them in my reference photo. And you can see that I have swatched my markers on the right hand side to uh, match my painting as well as I could with the markers that I have. So I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of my YouTube subscribers and my Facebook followers. Um, it's been another wonderful year of tutorials. Um, I enjoy what I do very much and you are a great reason or a great part of the reason why I enjoy doing what I do. Thank you so much for your support and for your wonderful comments. They are definitely and without a doubt the inspiration behind these tutorials. And I want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you. So again, you see me color blocking here and then trying to figure out how I was going to blend these colors so that my lines were not so harsh was uh, I, I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. And what I ended up doing was taking the lightest yellow that I had and running it over the entire section to blend the colors in. And in doing so, of course, the tip of my marker became um, dirty with the darker colors. So I wiped it on the paper towel to remove some of those dark colors. And that worked out pretty well. Can you hear the clicking of Diesel's toenails? It's got to be wherever I am. Okay, so you see me here using the lighter shade of yellow to blend the colors in together. And again, that worked pretty well, but you have to make sure that you continue to clean your marker on the paper towel. Otherwise, um, you pick up the darker shades and uh, you start to lose some of the areas where you see here the highlighted areas i just cleaned the tip of the marker and went over that area again lifting some of that darker color 
that had transferred onto it. Because catching the reflections on this bow, this is a gold bow, um, catching the reflections is really important. So you have to make sure that you maintain your highlighted areas. So again, I'm doing each section individually and adding in my light colors, my dark colors, and then using that lighter shade of yellow to blend my colors in together nicely, or as well as you possibly can with using alcohol ink markers. You can see that there are some lines that show up, but all in all, I think that um, it turned out really well. For a first time. I don't know that I'll be doing it a second time, but um, for a first go, I think it turned out pretty well. This section here gave me a little bit of trouble, but I wanted to make sure that I maintained it as well as I possibly could um, so that it accurately matched what I saw in my reference photo. So again, going over with the lighter yellow to blend the colors in. It's also important that once, what I found rather, once I finished adding all my colors and blending them in as best I could, I did go over some of the dark areas and um, I added a little bit more yellow because it's important that they stand out and I cleaned up some of the highlighted areas that I needed and I had a little issue with the camera. It kept shutting off because someone kept calling me. <laughs> and every time that the phone rings, even though I have it on Do Not Disturb, for some reason, it shuts off the camera. So it stopped filming. But I did go back and add a little bit more color, and I did darken my dark, darker areas after I blended them in. And I think that that helped to enhance the painting and to bring out those reflections and those highlights a little bit better. I also used um, micron pens to outline the bow once I was finished and I'm not sure whether that will show in this video and I used a black Posca pen to fill in the background and the reason that I did the black background in black is because I wanted the colors the yellows and the, to to uh, show up more and creating a black background makes those colors pop more. So we are almost coming to the end of this video, and again, parts of it did not film, and I apologize for that. But I think that you get the basic idea from what I was able to capture. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And take a look on my Facebook page if you want to see the completed um, painting. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.